Hi folk, James here from Hidden Gems of Zambia again. Uh, just wanted to say thank you very much for joining us in the Kafui on our last video. Uh, we appreciate all the feedback and the comments and as mentioned in the last video, we've gone west today and we're in western Zambia. And uh, it's not going to be a long video because there's not a lot from a safari tourism package that is established in western Zambia. There's a couple points, uh, but for those of you in those markets, I'm sure we've got something quite useful. Really in Western Zambia at the moment, we've got two products that are standing out. The one is a self-drive route and the other is a high-end luxury property. The self-drive route that we've seen come out um, in increasing popularity are clients coming in from Namibia. As we know, Namibia is extremely popular at the moment and we're seeing more and more clients coming up from the Caprivi. They've been going to Susui, Mamili. And now they're coming up the Caprivi and entering Zambia on the Western Road, looking for an extension into Zambia. Uh, if you've got clients who are looking for that, obviously they're going to be looking to head up to Lua Plain. And usually from Lua Plain, they're trying to bend east into the Kafui National Park, where typically they'll hit the Kafui National Park on the M9 and then bend their way back down south towards Livingston. There are not a lot of high-end properties on that bend, but um, there is there are one or two properties that we work with. We've got quality Upper Zambezi uh, lodges that can take you to the Ngonia Falls, give you a lovely Zambezi experience, and then the clients will be looking to head up into Lua Plain. Uh, generally, they're going to be contacting the African Parks Organization for the campsites, um, but probably the first uh, and most important point for you to look at is just planning that journey so that they can get from Lua Plain into the Kafuri National Park because there are quite long distances involved. But if you're operating in the self-drive market, be aware of that loop. It's becoming more and more popular. We're seeing it more often and we do have a couple of options to help you plan that. The probably hottest topic in Western Zambia at the moment is the resurrection of Lua Plain National Park under African Parks and the flagship property in there, King Lewanika. Uh, King Lewinika is an exquisite uh, property uh, run by our friends at Time and Tide. It's an outstanding experience and something very unique and something Zambia is really proud of and should be proud of. Uh, the one challenge that we have with King Lewinika and Lua Plain as a, as a whole is the timing of the seasons. It generally doesn't coincide with the bulk of the safari season in Zambia, which typically is running from July to October whereas Lua is at its best, really running from November through to the following July. Having said that, there is a way to sell it, and there is a way that you should be looking to combine it, but it just perhaps, unless you've got a really dedicated safari enthusiast who, want, who doesn't mind traveling long distances, um, generally you're going to look to add on King Lua Nika, um, I think from a Zimbabwe trip and a Botswana trip, one of those great green season packages that those countries offer, and then have them finish up in the falls at one of the top high-end properties in Livingston and fly into King Lewinika from there. A wonderful add-on, brilliant property, and a really complimentary experiences to those countries as opposed to trying to squeeze it in onto a longer circuit in Zambia because there are significant travel distances involved. Having said that, if the client is keen enough, it's a wonderful experience and it can be done, but just generally as a package, we finding it probably fits an add-on from Livingston better as opposed to trying to incorporate it into a package with the rest of Zambia. Mm -hmm. Thanks for tuning in folk. That's pretty much where we're sitting at Western Zambia at the moment. Uh, we're going to be going down to Livingston next and we've got some very strong views on Livingston and how it should be sold and I think you're going to want to tune in so we'll catch you when we're around there.